Good morning, traders. Welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. If you're looking for more videos from Nedit and myself, check out the FXDD YouTube channel where we have our webinars uploaded and also our video, video analysis is added as well. All right, first of all, the euro dollar. Basically, price is going sideways at the moment, but price is staying above this 21 EMA for, for now at least. I also see, uh, I think, five waves up. At least there's a good bullish momentum in this piece. So I think for the moment, my leading analysis is that this is uh, momentum, this is correction, and hence continuation higher seems likely at this moment, either as an ABC or what I think probably more likely even a one, two, three. That depends a little bit on how price responds as price, if it does break up, how far it goes and what kind of momentum there is. If it is a wave three, it should really move up sturdily Go up to 113.75, uh, 114, make a flag, and then continue higher. If it's more of a wave C, then it could stop at the 61.8 fib if I put a fib from the very top here to the very bottom. And that would be around 113.28, as you can see. If it's an ABC, then the wave C should stop probably at the 61.8 fib, probably in that case, and uh, make a bounce back down. That is pretty sharp, pretty good momentum and impulse to the downside, in fact. So it will be kind of like a close in reverse up down like sorry up like this and then down like that okay if it is a wave c and then the price will challenge the 20 you may maybe break below it and if it does break below it then uh, it would be a new downtrend again okay so that could happen uh if we look at this chart there is a head and shoulders pattern here as well so potential head and shoulders pattern i should say left shoulder head right shoulder that could indicate a reversal and uh, if price does move up like that and then bounces, it could just be kind of a correction and uh, price basically could break below the support and continue lower. For the moment though, I think that it's more likely that the price will continue higher and move up to 114.50, 115 resistance zone up in here, in this area like that. And I think that price will have momentum, flag and continuation higher. So if I see a flag, I will be looking for the breakout of the flag and trying to to trade that continuation up to that uh, target zone at 114.50, 115, 115.25. So that uh, is my thoughts for the moment. Very choppy, very corrective price action. But ultimately, if we take a look at the weekly candle, this is candle number seven. It hasn't broken below the double bottom. So that is a time pattern indicating that I use that indicates uh, a probable reversal or not even reversal, but some type of correction. Okay, for the moment at least, back to the 144 you may on the weekly chart. And also, uh, number candle, candle number seven didn't break, but also candle number seven was bullish, had a wick at the bottom, and uh, closed near the high. It didn't close above the halfway mark of the bearish candle, but still, I think a decent bullish candlestick pattern there on, on the weekly. And don't forget, let's not forget the monthly candle of June that still is bullish, and all of this price action is within that monthly candle. So as long as price stays above that candle low of last month at around 111.50, uh, seems like it's still uh, in bullish territory. Maybe 111.50 is too much to ask, but as long as it stays above, I think 111.80 and 112, all these candle lows here, uh, it's still in bullish territory based on the candlestick patterns of the monthly and the weekly uh, chart. All right, back to the daily. Now I do see a bearish candle and I do see a bearish wick here. So that could be maybe a reason for price to dip down and retest the support zone. But then if it does that, I would expect a bullish bounce and move up at around 112.25. Let's put a fib from here to here on this swing to the upside. And I think then the 61.8 fib could hold at 112.28 for a move up to at least these fibs, if not more, as I already indicated, it could go more uh, if, uh, if my analysis is correct. So that's about it for the moment. There's a little bit of momentum here, so it could be this and then up. Or if it does bounce and break, I'm looking for a break basically above this trend line like that, uh, push up above 112.80ish. And uh, in that case, I think price is already moving up for a breakout. And then this was the entire correction. All right, so that's the euro dollar. Let's take a look now at the pound dollar. A little bit different in the sense that there was more momentum to the downside. Also, price seems to have completed the five waves up though. So I think that uh, there will be another move up. And uh, that could be basically part of A, B, C. All right, so five waves up within A, expecting another five waves up within C. But the question is, is wave B finished or not? For the moment, probably not. This is maybe wave A. 
I'm expecting a move up for B and then down for wave C to finish that blue wave B. And then I'm expecting a bounce for blue wave C that can go up to, for instance, that long to moving average. Okay, 144 you may at around 126. That is still a very important resistance zone. Okay, you can see price bounce off of this resistance zone already. That could be wave one, two, three, four. And uh, this could all be part of four still. So if I put a fib from here to here, there we go. If it does hit the 50 fib around 125.86, that could still be a bouncing spot. So if it completes an ABC like that, and then moves up in five waves, that 50 fib, maybe even the 61.8 fib, around 126, 126.25, still in a very important resistance zone and could be the bouncing spot for more downside after completing an ABC up like that as part of wave four. All right, one, two, three, once again, four, and then expecting maybe downside. Now, if it breaks above 126, 126, 25, and that actually would not be that strange in my view. It could happen, uh, it's 50-50, maybe even, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, maybe even more likely. I'm not, it's difficult to say at this moment, but price has bounced at this previous bottom here, okay? So from that point of view, it could be wave A, B, C. There could be a lot, big bounce within wave C, and within wave B, there could be A, B, C. So the question is, is this an A, B, C? Or is this a one, two, three, four, five continuation, right? So if the if price stays below 126, 126, 25, below this resistance zone, the previous bottoms, then it's likely to be a correction and just kind of going sideways, consolidating before breaks, before price breaks this bigger bottom at 124, 25. But if it breaks above 126, 126, 25, then the bulls are taking back control and there could be more a bullish uh, momentum and more a bigger bullish correction to the upside, maybe even part of that bigger wave C that I mentioned. So that's why this is important. Uh, for the moment though, uh, bearish price action, bearish trend on the daily, weekly as a bullish candle, monthly is bearish at this moment, broke below the low, but yeah, it, it's uh, a time pattern that could be could be indicating a bounce as well at this moment, actually. All right, because this is candle number six. So that's an important month as well from that perspective. Anyhow, back to four hour chart. There we go. So for the moment, I'm thinking ABC like this, maybe a little bit of a bounce like that, move down, then it bounce up. And uh, then big question mark, will it bounce or break? That's something we have to see as price gets there. All right, traders. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for joining and uh, hope to see you in the next videos. Of course, check out this link here for more free indicators. For instance, we also have a lot of analysis, research uh, and uh, webinars you can, you can join. Uh, just check out the Elite Currency website and see you all soon. Cheers.